Hello, Cancer. Happy New Year. And let's start with current energies. The month of January. And then we're going to go through the signs. And I would uh, suggest that you listen to the whole video because during the course of the year, of course, you will be dealing with all the signs from Aries to Pisces at one point or another in the year. So let's start with the energies for January for you and then go into all of the signs. We have you moving very slowly to something that you've committed to, but it's a very clear path for you and it is dealing with love, marriage, partnership, commitment, long term, the one uh, that you're moving towards. Yeah, this is a long term commitment. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Just saying. Through a tower moment, you're going to achieve something. Like something had to be torn down in order for you to achieve something. It's almost like, well, I can't... Well, I was going to say, I can't get the new vehicle until I get rid of the old one. But, I mean, anyone could have two vehicles, right? Right, so... Something that needs to be torn down. There is something that is being torn down. You're at the crossroads. There, this could be a new love coming into your life. And brings this spiritual healing and a lot of passion, loyalty, faithfulness, support. And the ability to, to bring to the table um, financially, you know, morally, spiritually too. We've got a spirit guide here with this person. All right, let's go through the signs. Aries to Pisces. I got an itchy nose. I'm so sorry, Cancer. It happens sometimes. Allergies. Cancer dealing with Aries. Stable. Oh, not so stable. There's that tearing down in order to achieve something. Um, you're at the crossroads with Aries. There's something very healing here, though. Divinely guided, divinely timed. Uh, there's whatever happened between you and Aries it will heal. It'll heal. Oh, uh, Aries tends to make you feel left out in the cold. It could, there could be a third party involved here. And you may end up just wanting to be alone as a result because Aries tends to make you feel stuck. Yeah, and then you get into your power wagon, the chariot, and off to victory land. We have victory. The Cancer card. Cancer dealing with Taurus. Cancer dealing with Taurus. I had a dream about my Cancer friend last night. That's weird. I just remembered it too. Completely forgot that I had a dream about my cancer friend. Cancer dealing with Taurus. There's some... Uh, not so equal give and take. Uh, could Taurus be a little lazy in the effort of equal give and take? They just want some... They just want to look at the long term. There is healing energy here. And we have a harvest. They're looking at the long term with you. They're looking at, well, if I settle down with cancer, what is the long term going to look like for me? Do I get a harvest? Do I get a lot? We have them uh, with some regrets here. Uh, ready to take a journey and build an empire. Uh, very strong person. Very strong person. Intuitive. And they love you. But they want stability first and foremost. Above love. Though Taurus can be very romantic. If you're dealing with a Gemini. Cancer dealing with a Gemini. Wow, that was fast. 
There's some regrets here. But yeah, this person's stubborn. Uh, gosh. Yeah, this could be your emperor or empress. We have a. Uh, this person was meant to be in your life. This looks like it's. This is, you're good to go, a green light on this. We have the green man. You'll have a lot of celebrations with this person. Really enjoy their company if, at the very least. And you'll feel very connected to them. They're going to feel very connected to you. Oh, we have the tower. Dang, I'm telling you. Let me shuffle that up. Where are we at, Gemini? passion happy moments with them yeah there's a spiritual connection with gemini and they're going to help open a portal for you uh something that you are very good at they're going to bring to the table and with some support this is part of your destiny and we have new love or the rebirth of a, if you're dealing with gemini a rebirth of love if you need a gemini yeah new love Cancer. Dealing with a cancer. Cancer on cancer. Passion. Celebration. Good times. But both of you are independent. Together you feel stuck. You're, you're very strong, both of you. Strong-minded, stubborn maybe, even intuitively you know that but you do get along we, you have very good communication skills and one of you wants to go fast and the other go slow this could be about you know like if it's not about love it could be about a project uh, giving you a suggestion saying hey you should do this and you're like nah, I think I should wait on it or the other way around cancer dealing with Leo Cancer dealing with Leo. Wells dry. Discontent. Just, you're, no, this person's betrayed you. Leo. Um, yeah, wow. It, troubles with Leo, but uh, moving on, I think heaven helps you. Heaven helps you to bring a new opportunity towards you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, God just sends the angels and picks you up and takes you out of that situation. Puts you back on your path with a blessing, moving you towards abundance and a wish fulfillment. So if Leo isn't the wish fulfillment, it's leading you to that wish fulfillment of stability in the home, emotional fulfillment. Uh, this Leo, I don't, I don't think you should trust this Leo. Be careful. Just be careful. Make sure it's equal give and take. And that they don't take you for granted or take advantage of you. Cancer taking on uh, Virgo. Cancer with Virgo. Cancer dealing with Virgo. Virgo is very, uh, this Virgo is very mysterious, doesn't share everything. Virgo is starting, he, Virgo's planning, planning, he wants to create this whole new world around you, planning beautiful moments, very passionate towards you. Uh, but they, they need to get rid of some past betrayals or break some habits, maybe addictions or chains. You might have to break with a Capricorn. Strong Capricorn energy here. Uh, dealing with the past. But with you, it's, it's like this planning, analyzing. How can I create, you know, micromanage even because they are very passionate about you. They want to work with you. Let's put it that way. 
They got some stuff to deal with though. Or it could be, you know, uh, they need to stop micromanaging. Libra. Pants are dealing with Libra. Pants are dealing with Libra. Stay strong. Libra's got boundaries up. Uh, dealing with some karmic stuff. Uh, but they want to race towards you. They want victory with you. But they, they, there's some confusion here. They want to birth something new here with you. But there's some confusion. And they're trying to be careful. Maybe protect their heart. Maybe they're playing hard to get. Who knows? Uh, but, oh, they're planning. They're planning for this new cycle, new life, new everything. Um, you'll, you'll have a lot of happy enjoyable moments with this person you'll be able to plan things together Scorpio cancer dealing with Scorpio cancer dealing with Scorpio oh Scorpio sees you for your worth we have recognition reward and new love if you're dealing with a Scorpio the rebirth of love recognition as to who you are reward other people may even be admiring you your ship's coming in beyond your wildest expectations scorpio is really going to flip you up uh, on onto another level of love um, and passion a portal opening up towards both of your uh, um, planning hopes dreams wishes accomplishments so just a word of warning if you and Scorpio are moving especially in the business sense moving towards a lot of accomplishments that there's equal give and take here make sure that you're on a level playing field you are being blessed with a new beginning and abundance and something that Scorpio is very good at that can um, contribute as well as yourself Sagittarius Cancer dealing with Sagittarius. Clear communication. Sagittarius may come across as cold. Uh, but they're dealing with some past baggage that they're getting rid of. They do accomplish that. They get rid of that past baggage. It could be that they've had to, you know, go through a divorce, sign the papers, you know, split half and half. Who gets the house? Who knows? But they are cutting out some past stuff, getting rid of the baggage. And they are going to bring forward something uh, for you. Stability for you. Looking at things from a different perspective. They see you as a wish fulfillment. And when they put these burdens down, the road opens up for them and they come in with an offer of love. Cancer dealing with Capricorn. Cancer dealing with Capricorn. Capricorn is um doing a lot of left brain thinking hermitizing they're with this left brain thinking though their right brain is poking them it's like heaven's poking them saying there's a new beginning here for you But Capricorn is very focused on money, focused on work. They'll get it. They'll wake up to what this connection is, whether it's business or love. They'll clue in and they'll realize that seed was already planted and there is a new reality growing. And then they step into their power and then they collaborate and they go, come past any barriers uh, that were in the way and have this passionate new beginning. Could be that Cancer just needs to 
uh, Capricorn just needs to, or is heading into a new career altogether before they can move forward. Aquarius, Cancer dealing with Aquarius. Cancer dealing with Aquarius. Let's try that again. Cancer dealing with Aquarius. Mystery, mysterious, something that is hidden. Um, this is a soulmate, this Aquarius. Whether friend or lover, um, this Aquarius is very independent. And they tend to be a hermit too. Um, but obviously they see you as a, a soulmate. Very intuitive. And it could be that during that time, that is what's revealed to them. Because it looks like the angels just give this one Aquarius a knock on the head and says, oh, there's a new beginning here that will be prosperous and loving and caring. Could be that Aquarius is afraid that you'll leave them out in the cold if they attempt to make any kind of an offer. And finally, Pisces. Cancer dealing with a Pisces. Cancer and Pisces. It must be important. We have a long-term relationship with this Pisces, a partnership, either in business or in love. Um, there is a decision that Pisces has to make. Um, they have it all. Pisces is on the road to having it all and having it all with you if this is who you are hooking up with. Having it all, the kids, the grandkids, the cows, the chickens, the everything. The two-car garage. There's a brand new beginning here. Uh, brand new money, new um, love, new blessings through this Pisces. You will note, too, that Pisces can tends to be uh, withdrawn, held back. That's only because Pisces, in this particular spread, uh, the reason why Pisces might seem withdrawn at times, or, you know, they just seem to, I haven't heard you, whatever, withdrawn, held back, withdrawn. It's because um, they're working with their sp spirit guides. They got a lot going on. We've got, they're surrounded by angels here. We have the city, and this is about divine intervention, divine help. There's real stability, um, financial stability with this Pisces. Pisces may be worried that, is there going to be equal give and take in this relationship? Is Cancer just trying to take advantage of me? But what ends up happening if you're in a relationship with this Pisces, um, or even in a, in a business partnership, is you're going to find a lot of emotional fulfillment. There you go, old girl. She's 18. That's it. Pisces, we're done. Thanks for joining me. I hope you join me again. And we'll go through the next time I come on. It will be um, probably mid-January. And we'll start looking into February. God bless you, Cancer. Thanks for your love support. Please subscribe. And hit the like to help me get past the algorithms of YouTube. Bye-bye for now.